Hey YouTube, Casey Classic 7 here back here with another video. Got some NBA Live 16 here. I wanted to do a video because this is a breakthrough video. Um, another breakthrough that I've had in yet another game. This time it's NBA Live 16. Um, first, I want to give a shout out to my man Jamal Williams. I saw him comment on one of Prime's videos about playing defense and his simple comment really helped me uh, become a lot better on defense and just uh, just reading it and just trying out his method I just seem to give up an open shot there and it's playing defense as if you were playing it in real life and I know that's a simple tip it sounds simple like is that something that you don't do already but um like I was saying, what I mean by that is um, know the player you're guarding. This goes back into uh, those one-on-one -on -one things. Uh, know the player you're guarding. Know your opponent. Um, start to look and read some of his tendencies. What he does, what he doesn't do. Um, who he shoots with, who he doesn't shoot with. All that stuff. I just see me um, anticipate and pick that pass off there. Um, all that will help and make you a better defender in this game. Let's give it to Love. Here we go, K Love. But like I said, all that will make you um, a better and more efficient and effective defender in this game. Also, um, don't forget about using the L2. It's pretty much gonna recenter. Anytime um, you get off center, for those who aren't the best at playing defense on ball, another another good um, tip on defense. So, like, th pretty much this was the thing that I needed to um, help me stick with defenders. Like, it wasn't my problem wasn't understanding what was going on and how to do things. It was. Um, it was sticking with the defenders and pretty much before was I was um, trying to play it similar similar to like a high do on 2k by pressing into the defender um, and I would usually have the guy blow right by me or use a move or two to get by me and um, they would get a lot of easy buckets in this game um, you cannot do that you're going to you're going to um, get blown by, and you're gonna get you're gonna give up a lot, a lot of points doing that. As you see here, even in this situation here, how I had to click on Kevin Love, and even though this is still an open shot in this game, um, even if you hand up here, he could have took the shot with me hitting. Um, the block button and contesting the shot that's gonna still be a contested shot So that's why you see Monte Ellis not um, take that shot um, put the ball on the floor a Couple moves here. Did you see this is as you just saw I'm sticking with them so pretty much what you want to do is Cut off cut off the strengths. So you want to force him back to the middle So first, I'm cutting off the baseline. That's where I think that he's going to go. Still hasn't made that decision yet. Um, shifts back to the middle. And he finally does go baseline. And one of the most important tips on playing defense in this game, you have to hit um, the contest button. So you have to hit block Y on Xbox. You have to hit that for it to be considered a contested shot. Or maybe you might not have to hit it, but... For um, for shots to be good contested shots, hit the triangle button. I hit triangle here, and you see he has a hand up, and he contests the shot. And even though it, it looks like it's kind of an open shot, this looks like a pretty open shot, this is a contested shot when it comes to um, NBA Live 16. And I guess pretty much the NBA Live series I last year too. But um, 
the difference between 16 and 15 15 um a little bit of a little bit of a contested shot usually those shots when i go in and 16 those shots will go in um and that's another tip on defense respect respect the player who's um shooting the ball like those shots are gonna go in don't get frustrated um get back on offense do what i'm doing offense and then get right back to it on defense um but yeah jamal williams shout out to you um definitely like i said that small tip there helped me in becoming that much better at this game and it's the same thing um same thing on offense like i was doing before natural motion as you see right there easy basket and like i said and know your players um go into settings here your, your strategy settings don't forget to do that stuff um all of that will help you become better on defense i'm definitely going to go into those as well uh, how i like to set mine and stuff like that but there we go k love so and this is on superstar um usually anytime i play games I always um, put it on the hardest difficulty just so I can get that much of a challenge. Um, but it definitely, like I said, it's definitely a rewarding thing now to realize what I was doing wrong and to have someone um, help me out and I implement that and it um, has actually helped me. But the main thing about here is knowing your defender. I mean, knowing your defender one and knowing who um, it's on the offensive end of things not every player can press up so don't press up with them that's a good contest that's a good contest and as you see I'm already uh, got 10 points so the defense is zero don't like this uh, yeah, this is gonna be kind of a, a a dead possession. I didn't really like that possession. Even though we still come up with uh still come up with the M1 there, but it's just a little bit of what you can look for when playing this game. And like I said, anytime someone helps me out, Jamal Williams in this case, definitely want to share this with you guys because to me. Even though it was such a simple tip and something that I should really consider before um, saying how bad the defense was in this game, you know, ask around. Didn't even do it. Didn't even think of asking around. Defense is bad. I can't play defense. Instead of um, instead of trying to see how to become a better defender, I just you know just claim, uh, said defense was bad. But like I said, that happens. It was a learning experience. And like I said, the number, the things to remember when playing defense in this game number one, know your defender, know the player you're guarding. Um, if you're playing online, start to pick up on some of your opponent's tendencies. If, um, what else? Um, don't forget to set. Strategy settings if you have to, if you want to, definitely important um, depending on however you want to set them. And respect the shooter, respect the offensive player. The offensive players are going to hit some tough shots. They are going to definitely score some shots that you don't think that they should score. But like I said, if, um, suck it up, get back on the offensive end, score so you can play some more defense. Pretty much playing defense in this game is all about consistency and being consistent um, rather than trying to make a stop every possession. Obviously, that's what you want to do. That's realistically not going to happen. But if you can make more stops than you don't make stops, you're going to win the game. Even if even if um, the game is a two-point two game throughout the whole game, all you have to do is continue to make 
you know, one stop, one stop. Eventually, those one stops are going to um, add up to a bunch of stops. That's what it's all about when uh, playing this game. And like, like I said, it's kind of a relief to be able to break through and uh, be able to break through, become a better defender, and just <laughs> reading a comment, something so simple. Um, definitely we'll be back with some more Live 16, because I want to get and start getting into Live 17, what I would like to see implemented into there. This video has ran pretty long, just for a simple tip video, but defense is one of the things that I usually pride myself on in basketball games, so now that um, I feel like I've gotten a little bit better and understand it a little bit more, I feel like I had to put this video out and it kind of rejuvenated me to um, play this game a little bit more. KC Classic 7, signing out.